Final update. Am I the asshole for making my wife pay daycare late fees out of her allowance? It's been six months since my last update and my wife and I are now legally separated. Her inability to respect anyone's time made it impossible to stay married to her. It's not even about the money anymore, it's about her complete lack of respect for others, myself included. I realized that I just couldn't live with someone who refused to acknowledge how their actions impacted everyone around them. Now on the weeks I have my son, we split custody every other week, I drop him off and pick him up from the original daycare. Not once have I been late, and I haven't had a single issue with the bill. One time I had a flat tire when I was supposed to leave to get him. Instead of making excuses, I called an Uber, picked him up on time, and he waited with me while the tow truck handled the car. I didn't inconvenience anyone, and I certainly didn't give the daycare a sob story because frankly my flat tire wasn't their problem. The daycare, however, will no longer allow my soon-to-be ex-wife to drop off or pick up our son. And honestly, I can't blame them. She disrespected their time so many times, it's no wonder they refuse to deal with her anymore. This whole situation has taught me a lot about love and respect. I used to think my wife and I loved each other, but how can you claim to love someone while continually disrespecting them? That's not how love works. I regret that it took me so long to figure all this out. In hindsight, I could have saved myself a lot of heartache if I'd realized the red flags when we were dating. She was chronically late back then too, but I chalked it up to quirks and brushed it off as something minor. Now I know it was a sign of something much deeper. I don't like being a divorcee, I don't like sharing custody of my son and I really don't like living alone, but I disliked the constant disrespect even more, and I had to take a stand. So I did. It wasn't easy, but it was necessary, and at the end of the day, I'm doing what's best for me and my son. I hope one day my ex realizes the impact of her behavior, but for now, I'm just trying to rebuild and focus on what matters most.